Louisiana Beer Review Shiner Day Quencher Session Ale 4.6% alcohol 18 international bitterness units they use mosaic hops dry hopping okay uh, it's supposed to be mild quenching beer for sessioning which I don't really do I drink four beers the whole day on my day off spread out morning midday later in the day and evening so not too exciting but that's my regimen may not be yours um, they got this code on the back I can't figure it out I know it, it's fresh I did not buy this this was given to me I did not ask for it neither did I ask for the juicy wicked wicked but it was given to me just the person said don't say who gave it to you and I said okay I will not but I did not pay for it never had it this is the first video review for this beer in the world. Beer Advocate saying it's 71 out of 100. Untap 69 out of 100. Rate Beer, no score because they only have two reviews on the whole site. <laughs> so, I don't have a Shiner glass, so I have this St. Arnold Summer Pills glass. Golden, clear, bubbly, um, bubbly. Sediment, uh, no, not really. <clears throat> Let's check it out. This is number three out of four for today. <clears throat> it's mild, little stark. No, it's a little sharp fruitiness and some grain. Not super aromatic, but let's go with the taste. First thing I noticed is a watery body. It's it's really into the medium, but it seems lighter than that. It's probably low medium. Some grain, some fruitiness. Uh, 18 IBUs, it seems like it just reaches that, it's really that, I, I don't know if I'd guess it was that high, if I didn't know any better. It's a pretty crisp finish, it's, um, it's nice, but it's kind of bland. Um, I think for a 4.6% a ale, for me, no, I would prefer Boddington's. But the, the price is probably similar for this or Boddington's per ounce, so it probably wouldn't really matter. It'd just be your pre your preference. Nice lacing. Session ales tend to be kind of dull. I thought the same 76 was even duller than this. Um, this one be would be like kind of good like a B minus okay whereas Boddington's I would put that as at an A minus a whole score above it so whole grade above it but um, a lot of people out there I guess most beer drinkers in the world these days like the light bodied beers usually lagers but occasionally ales so this could be a winner for you and I would say it's at least worth trying out. What's Shiner's most popular beer? Their Bach, the Shiner Bach. Same kind of presentation, rather bland, but it appeals to the Texas consumer for sure. So ladies and gentlemen, bon relay. fairly good beer and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.